Hello, hello all. The stream is starting. Hey, Pyro. We're back in the Shifting Stones League. Still playing the uh, Flame Surge Totem build. Managed to get myself to 88 and 11% XP. Been working on this build a little bit. I got very lucky and managed to six link a soul mantle. I paid a fair bit of money from getting a couple divine orb drops and managed to get fire exposure on hit and unnerve on hit. I got some new boots, replacing the torch oak step because honestly, we cannot have the, as many pieces of gear as we do without any life on them. It's just not going to work. So. I decided to remove that, and we're we're a bit tankier now, thankfully. I have fully integrated the uh, skitterbots into the build. They now have like their own. They now have their own little spot. I'm currently running. I've moved all my gem links around. I'm running flame dash with faster casting. I picked up a reju evolve rejuvenation totem since it is plus one to my totem, so it won't mess with them to spawn them. Just for some extra survivability. I have all smite for its buff. I put uh, on cast one stunned. I put wave of conviction for elemental exposure. Additional elemental exposure just in case the. Uh, uh, well, I guess actually this is probably good enough that I don't even need to worry about additional elemental exposure anymore. You know what? That's coming out. Where's my summon skeletons? There are my summon skeletons. Okay. So I have my Chaos Golem here, giving me 4% physical damage reduction. Well, actually 5 now with the increased effect, with buff effect from the boots. I have meat shield support on it, so it'll be taunting things to make me a bit tankier. And just a little bit less uh, likely to get hit by things. And I also have summon skeletons which I mainly use for the Vol of Seven Skeletons. I've never actually used the normal ones. But with this, it's going to pop out uh, small skeletons that also have meat shield support, just at random, which will be quite helpful. Uh, just just more distractions are always good. Uh, because Cast One Stun does not support Vol skills, I can still use the Vol skill at will, even though it is actively supporting the non-Vol version of it which is a cool double dipping you can do to save on gem slots. Skitterbots are up there. They're capped at level 15 because I only have 60 decks. My Hell the Ash maxed out. My Infernal Legion support is going good. Termination maxed out. Tried to corrupt it, didn't work. Still working on a lot of my gems here. I have a uh, Searing Bond back in the works, as well as I still have Molten Shell. And I picked up a level 1 Precision just for a tiny, tiny damage boost to fill the slot that otherwise did not have anything in it. Oh, I also picked up a new belt, so now I have a lot of life. So I have 3,630 life now, which is pretty darn good. Without Flasks, I'm sitting at 84% physical damage reduction. Uh... My resistances are almost capped except for fire. I'm a little bit under on fire, which is awkward, but uh, I'll, I'll have to replace my boots to fix it. It's it's just one of those things that I don't even know if it'll get done in time for the end of the league, because that's coming tomorrow at 6.30. Or, wait, no. Five. What? Five. I should also mention that I'm talking EST. It's at 5 p.m. EST. I also have the 43% uh, chance to block attacks, 12% chance to block spell damage, and I now have a negative 90% extra damage from crits, so I am practically crit immune now, as well. Plus, the uh, the block has an extra bonus to it, where it uh, can it, I will get an extra 15% fire pen if I block, which is great. But with all that, we are going to get into it. So, 
I am just going to be mapping. I have gone the exact same route as before with my as um. What what is the first event called? Krangled. I went the same route as I did with Krangled. I passed up here immediately, and I got intelligence gathering for every map you complete to give you ten intelligence to a random safe house. I also picked up Lucid Dreams. So now your vault side areas are not corrupted, which means I can reroll the modifiers on them, and I can reroll for the increased XP gain modifier so that you can do a side area with like an extra 100% XP, which is very nice. More June stuff just to get just to get more progress on the safe houses, more June stuff. I picked up uh, Guarding Hordes and Packed with Energy to get uh, buffs and just general self-light for any uh, running of the delve I want to do. And I took the Mortal Gateway over here. That has brought me over to here so that I could get Einhar to stay with me after the mission's complete. So I can use Einhar as a method of making my map safer to be in. Because he gives a very strong life buff when he's with you. Plus, I'm pathing up here, and I'm going to get a. Uh, I'm going to go for the Dutiful Soldier, which gives you Huck when you open a chest. He won't have an aura this time, unfortunately, because he does no gear. But he w does have his own buff skill, and that buff skill will give a, like a nice damage boost and movement speed boost. And that's probably all I'm gonna do for this league. I don't think I'm gonna get much more. Maybe I'll path over here and block off uh, Expedition and Harvest, seeing as they're not, I'm not very good with them on this build. I'd love to grab uh, my, uh, not mining partnership, uh, Covert Stakeouts to increase the chance of encountering June. That sort of thing. Okay, let's dive into mapping. So... Like I have been doing in the past, I this is a play together stream. So if anyone wants to join, uh, join into the maps, either say so in chat with your in-game name or message me in game, and you are welcome to come mapping with me. This offer stays open. So if anyone pops into the stream, feel free to come at any time. Meanwhile. I'm going to push to, oh my gosh, well isn't that just convenient? <laughs> A poor Joyce Asylum with 150% increased XP gain. I'm going to do this as, as my second map, so anyone who wants to join me to do any maps, speak up, you have a chance. Grab both of these, going to grab some of the maps that he has for sale here. Okay. Fortunately, that ate up all of my alks, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to do four maps. Yeah, I need to do four new maps to get Huck, and then I'm going to start pushing just any map that is decent for me. These are new, and then precinct if. Give me something new. Nope. Nope. Here. Oh, I still already have here. Darn it. Lava chamber. Okay, that's new. And I don't have the elks left, damn it. No, you're not being useful. Damn it, chances. My chances aren't working. Give me. And yeah, okay, thank you. Whatever, this is going to be just a normal twinned map. Ooh, with elemental weakness. That's great. That's going to be really convenient for me, actually. I don't need that many on me. I'm leaving these with me just so that I can 
scour any vault side areas I get. Okay, first thing, lava chamber. Pick packed with energy just to make it easier and move faster. Let's go. So mapping honestly has been really smooth with this character. I'm quite happy. And immediately someone wants to trade with me. <laughs> hey Ron, welcome to the stream. We're just about to start our first map. I won't get many trade requests during this, just because I've turned off all my low price trades, so anything expensive will still sell, but yeah. I want to leave some stuff open, seeing as very few people are still left in this league now, so if there's stuff that people want, they can they can buy it. Unfortunately, this is a void league, so all the money is going to go down the drain, but... There will probably be someone who'll sell Alks or something to me, and I'll want those. No faster casting. Oh, did my faster casting... Okay, it's at 39%, this one's at 38. I can swap these now. Finally, my stuff hit 20. A bunch of my gems. I was waiting for that for so long. Oh my gosh, where are my manners? I forgot to ask. How are you all doing? Is everyone having a good day? And if you're playing a good event? Oh. Are you... Is this a Tormented Spirit map? Oh, it is. Ghost Hunter! Because it's like Headhunter. Oh, give me... Get back here. Get back here! You got a relic key? Wow. That is very good luck in an unfortunately not permanent league, but still, I hope it helps you buy any upgrades that you need left on the market. No. It's getting a little bit dicey. There we go. Whoa, okay. Now I'm moving really fast with this many ghosts. I honestly hope you're having a better day than I am. I think I have the flu, and I'm pretty sure I just put a hole in my tire on the way home. Oh, and, not but. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. That's... That is a set of shitty things that, that suck on their own. I am sorry. That sucks. I hope you feel better soon, though. Hopefully listening to my dazzling voice will help. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? It, oh. No! Oh no! Oh no, that's super valuable, isn't it? I don't want that now! Not in a temporary league! Oh fuck, how much is that worth? Oh no, how much is this worth? Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, it's worth 11 div! No! And it's useless in this league! 
This is one of the most valuable items I've ever had drop in this game. And it's going to get deleted tomorrow. I have so many mixed feelings right now. Like, I'm so happy, but also I'm so annoyed. Why did it have to be in the only one of the three leagues that, that is voided? Ah, har har, Pyro. How the hell do I clip this? Okay, I think I clipped it. I'll have the VOD and I'll clip it later, like, manually, if that didn't work. But I hit the clip that button, so... Hopefully that works. I've never actually clipped things on Twitch before. I usually just pick up... I usually just pick my clips, uh... Out of the, uh... What's it called? I just pick my clips out of the VOD directly. Because... Honestly, that works well for me. Oh my gosh, I'm moving too fast, and the lag is not helping. Okay, looking... Where is it? Okay, I just want to check really quickly. How many cards are in the... In the... House of Mirrors. So, this is 1 90th of a mirror, the most valuable item in, in the game, of which very few players ever see. That is a very large amount, considering how expensive a mirror is, because I think mirrors are sitting at like 400 div right now. Well, that's awkward. Oh, I can't display it. I guess I'll just leave it. I, don't, I want to put it somewhere. Hi, Ann. Someone had a mirror drop for them? Oh, no. Well, I guess someone had to. Are there any in this league? No. You know what? I'm going to make my, the best use of this I can. I'm going to put this up for a, a single div, which is nothing. But, I mean, if someone wants to pay me for that, like, this is useless to me because I will never assemble a set. And there isn't enough time in the league, generally, for people to assemble a set. So, if someone wants to buy that, they can go ahead and buy that. Yeah. Okay. Next map. Uh, no, I'm not going to witness anything. I was, I was considering it, but no, it's not worth it. Honestly, I was hoping it was the Divine Orb anyways, so... <laughs> that will make it uh, exactly what I was hoping for, at least. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, but I am going to try to stream until I hit 90 tonight. If any viewers want to join me, I'm going to be doing a, uh, uh, not Poor Joy's Asylum, uh, a tier 5 that has 150% increased XP after this map. Actually, after the, uh, after these two maps. Just message me in-game or say so on the stream with your in-game name and I will add you to the party. We can map together. That's only if you've actually gotten to the point of yellow maps, though. It can be pretty dangerous otherwise. Let's see what I can get out of this map before I leave. It's a tier 8, so I should probably go through the full map. Oh! Hi, Omni! Oh, the siege. I got. I was excited for a second when I got a uh, small, a uh, unique small cluster, but 
Thankfully, it's not, like, the crazy good ones. Those are scary. The, uh... Sorry, I just had two thoughts blend together. The ice ice novas on uh, the strong boxes are scary. Um, I'm actually happy that that was like a crappy cheap cluster and not a good one because again, I don't want anything good right now. I just want realistically, I just want maps, maps, maybe some divine orbs so that I can use them for stuff. I don't know. Honestly, I might start using my Chaos Orbs to reroll Vol side areas, just because they are... I mean, trading is finishing up in this league. Most of it has already ended. Like, the number of sellers that actually are here anymore, trading in the league has dropped a lot. Ooh. No, don't put me in the more damage field. There's no reason that I should be picking up those Reigns of Chaos. It's not worth it. Ooh, scouting reports are good, though. And Embers. I spent a lot of money on Embers to get my... Eh? No. To get myself to where I am with them. What is destroying my Golem? I just looked up and I just like watched my golem's health drain to nothing. Must have been sitting in a damage field or something. Oh, he's back. Apparently I have lots of skeletons spawning. I just, just keep noticing them like, pop up in the buff bar. But I'm not actually seeing them in game. I guess because I just have so many things going on it's hard to see. But they are here apparently. Okay, I don't need any more clusters for my build. Okay, that should be good enough. Next to this map is tier 7, okay. Oh, I must have done the tier 8 first. I don't know if anyone's selling the siege. Oh yeah, it's worth like two chaos. Yeah, I'll put it there. Maybe I'll set it later. Who knows? I almost hit the scouting report to see what it, what it would give me, and then I remembered. No, I have a rather nice, unique map waiting for me. Okay, we're at 24%. We're halfway to the danger zone of can't die. Due to the 50% XP penalty if you're on death. That would be crushing. I, it's one of the reasons why like I swapped out to choke step and like I've been investing heavily in defenses. Doesn't matter how long it takes you to kill something, it just matters that you A can kill it and B can survive till you kill it. Of course you want to still be able to kill things at a reasonable rate, but you know. Got to find a happy medium. And Volsamite takes a long time to activate. Oh, it's an alt. I don't need alts. I'm naturally, I'm naturally drawn to the, like, the shiny things that my loot filter picks up. Like, oh, this is valuable. Well, it would be. It would be valuable, it's true. But I don't need that right now. I'll pick up Chaos and Embers. Gem Cutters. 
Blessed Orbs. Alks. Don't think I need much of anything else. Oh, scouting reports. Maps. I guess Jistles are nice, too. I really am liking the pseudo seven link you get with uh Soul Mantle. Being that it has uh Oh no. Oh no, this is a not a good spot to be. Just in this giant that giant blob of chaos and monsters was not good. I completely forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I gotta say, this actually maps a lot faster than I expected. In a bit of focus mode right now, trying to make sure that I stay alive, because the last thing I want is to die. I'm starting to get into higher tier maps, so I'm honestly kind of nervous. This death is very punishing. God, I can't believe... I can't believe I got that div card. That's just... Uh... That's so uniquely frustrating. It's like that time when I got a two secondary and one primary regretting lens in the same bl a blueprint and could not, or not in the same blueprint, in the same uh, reward area and could only take one of them. I wandered back to the start. Good enough. Okay, now to do the XP gain map. Poor Dry's Asylum. And after I do this, I will have Huck. Is that a Void Eye? No, it's not called a Void Eye. What's it called? Oh, it is a Void Eye. Okay. I was thinking Marcus Submission. The uh, Curse on Hit one. Oh, I should check. I'm at 31% right now, so I started at about 30%. See how much XP I get from this as a Tier 5. I'm really nervous about the Lunaris mobs specifically in here. The ones that like have a large chain of uh a large chain of projectiles they shoot, those are really really dangerous. Those ones. So I guess they're more dangerous if you're on an evasion build, which I often have been. Actually, yeah, I think both of my ancestor characters are evasion builds, and my Krangled character was an evasion build, too. I guess I've been playing, like, solely evasion lately. Yeah.
Yeah, Porters is scary. Does it have actual crit mods, or is it just... No, it just has 150% increase in ar um, monster damage. Happy to be basically crit immune. Very happy I pushed to get that. Because I could actually have gone for some more health instead, but... I don't know. I, I like knowing that I don't have to deal with the crits. Oh, that's the boss. Yay. Okay. I'm gonna hide over here. Cool, I now have Huck. Or I will once uh, I find him in the map. That's what I was waiting for. Yay, Searing Bond. I like Searing Bond. It has plus one to max totems, so you can just run it, even if you're running all your totems at once. Really nice. For those, for the uninitiated who aren't familiar with this build, uh... You might notice that I'm, like, spawning a lot of totems very quickly. Fuck. Uh... Oh, that hurts. No, that was, like, 35% experience. Okay. That's okay. We'll recover it. We will recover it. God, that hurts, though. Thankfully, it didn't take that long to get there, so... Yeah. Plus, it wasn't the maximum amount, so at least I can have that as my one solace. One bit of solace. Sad to have used up the XP from this map, though. I really would like to level, because I'm just going to get more and more health each time. I wonder what actually killed me there. Not sure if anyone noticed what, what it was. It probably was just, like, a few lucky shots at the wrong time. I can only assume. Probably just because of their increased damage. I mean, I guess with increased 150% increased damage, even a 10% increase from the crits would be a big deal. It's okay, though. We'll get this. If I die another time, though, I'm changing something in the build. Generally, generally I have been doing fine, so we'll see. This is a kind of freak occurrence, though, with how dangerous this map is in specific. Oh, was it that fucker? What about that fucker? Or this one? I need to make sure those those whip ones don't get too close to me. They are dangerous. Yeah, I still got a fair bit left. Nope, that's a bit busy. One thing I really like about totems is you can just set them and run. Just hide in the background. Just see my random, like, few skeletons running around. <laughs> That's weird to see. I mean, I guess every single skeleton that runs around is another distraction, being that they all taunt.
Also, fun fact, and I don't think I, I can't really achieve this feasibly in this league, but I realized that the Kikazaru, the uh, curse effect reduction that's on it, is actually considered a caster modifier. What that means is that you can use caster catalysts, the imbued catalysts, on it to increase the re the uh, increase the reduction of curses. And with that, you can make yourself entirely cursed immune with, I believe, either 17 or 18 catalysts on it. Plus your asylum, notable on your passive tree. Almost makes me wonder if I could just forgo Asylum entirely and put it all in health. <laughs> but I would also lose Chaos Res to do that, and that's a dangerous game to play. <laughs> okay, I'm back up to 6% XP. That's not so bad. Okay... Now to enact one of my other plans. So I'll go with that for now. Actually, wait, no, I need to add more. So any mods here I can't do. Okay. So I'm going to run some really low-tier maps just to uh, quickly, quickly get research intelligence from June based on the intelligence gathering uh, notable I have on the Atlas skill tree. Whoa. My game is struggling a wee bit. Oh, Chaos Orb. Good old Corbs. Stay away from that. Wow. Stay away from whatever the fuck all that is. Okay. Break up all those blobs. Okay. Boss dead. Pop out. June mission? Nope. Or June progress? Nope. No safe house yet? Keep going. Mesa. More Mesa. Okay, this will be delirium for the next four minutes. Oh. I'll take my first talk as well. Okay, there is far too much stuff going on when there's a delirium. Hi, Huck. Good to see you, buddy. I missed you. Okay, got up. We're tier three. That's pretty easy to do. Break him down. Go, oh, got a June mission. Good, that will help with getting XP. No, pick up the asteroid map. <laughs> okay. No safe house. Go again. I'm just going to ignore the delirium. It's not worth it. Oh, it's this one's twinned. Exciting. Another June mission, good. Okay, barrels now. I find Barrows, Dunes, and Mesa are the three ones that I find the easiest to find the boss in, as in in like in a quick fashion. So they're the ones that I usually run for this. Oh, is this one? A, oh, is this a Ghost Hunter map? It is. <laughs> oh well, okay.
Well, now, just hold on one moment, then. If I can run real fast, I might as well blow some shit up along the way. Ghost. More ghost. Come here. Come here. Oh my god, stop running. Just... Why? Why do you hate me? You... You fucker. I hate... I hate Tormented Spirits so much. They're just such an annoying mechanic. Please, please, thank you. That one actually went towards me, weirdly enough. Okay, this is much usually much longer than I spend in this map, but it was worth it. Okay, Dunes next. Still no safe house. I think I'm fairly close. I was fairly close on some safe houses too, so surprised. Alright, it's down. No safe house. Oh, another one. Ooh, scour. Scars are good. One of the few things we're stopping for. You know what? Here. Summon some... Use the ball summon skeletons there. With that... I only use it for distraction normally, but maybe it'll kill something. I don't really want to stop. Ooh. Jeweler's Orb, which means fusings. And I know someone in particular who... Would really like more fusings. Where the fuck is the boss? How did I lose the boss in dunes? Must be down over here. There we go. Hello, Hillock. Goodbye, Hillock. Okay. What does Estuary look Oh, Estuary is actually pretty fast, too. Regen? Okay, still regen. The no regen and the reduced aura effect ones are the most dangerous, I think, to me. Because I use a lot of auras. And a lot of defensive auras. This is not actually the map I thought it was. But the boss arena should actually be fairly easy to find here. Should be right up ah, here. It might not look like I'm getting much done for leveling, but trust me, I am. The save houses that I'm making are going to be worth it. Okay, right, another Mason map. No delirium? Nope, tormented spirits. Can I have a can I have spirit? Can I have spirit? Spirit. Okay. 
Well, I'm just going to ignore you then, because you're ignoring me. Okay. Got to reward uh, tier three. Oh, no. Ball pyramid map. Another good map for getting quick progress. Okay. Out I go. Wait. Nope, nothing I need. Wait, I don't want to don't want to junk that yet. Or not junk it, but I don't want to put it in yet. How how am I doing? Oh, fortification ninety nine percent. Oh, I guess it's been hitting all the others instead. Just hit the large chests. Actually, no, not even worth it. I'll just go to the big one at the end. Just want this for progress. Fall smite, fall animate weapon. Nope. Not the right button. Okay. Yeah, go back up there. Okay, Kirak, what do you have for me? Yeah, I know I have no orbs of alchemy. Can I get anything with chances that I don't have? Oh, I mean, that's new. Grab that. Oh, I'll grab the Mesa. Which one's Bog? Bog is actually pretty easy to get to the end of. I got the Dark Forest. Okay, do a quick Mesa. I actually should be putting Alva on these maps. I don't want to get June right now. So I can use Alva to block her. Because I don't want the board to tick with what is on, what is in the queue right now. Let's see. So I have Mastermind, those are fine. The Fortification Intelligence, I would ideally like to hit, to finish off Fortification Safe House, then tick the board with a June mission to get 21 fortification rather than taking the board and getting one out of 21 fortification. That's why I'm trying to hit that specifically. Okay. Thankfully, Maelstrom of Chaos is a very easy map. If you're not, like, a curse build. Or if you're curse resistant or curse immune, it's okay. Or if your curses just don't matter all that much to you. There we go, this is the end. Hi again. Hi again. Mervile. Thank you. Oh, a toll. A toll is good as well. That's a, another easy one to get to. Grave trough. Cool. Still haven't hit fortification, huh? Wow. 
I'll run the atoll and then. Nope. 11% XP. Maybe I should just be pushing maps rather than doing this. This stupid shit just to uh, get some. This. There. Yeah. Just so I can get some inform safe house information. Because this is taking longer than it should. I was doing better when I was making up a lot of small shit. Or when I was when I wasn't using a lot of small shit and just like going for bigger maps. Okay. Got a Zoft's Inception. Oh, that would have been great early in the league. I feel your pain. I feel your pain as an immortal. Why did I have to get this now? <laughs> uh, frustration. Okay. Do you have anything good for me? Do I have any... Okay, I've completed all those. I think I've done all the white maps anyways. Ooh, those are all tier 10s. Ugh, that's... That's rough. Uh, arcade I haven't done. Oh god, I'm gonna have to be really fucking careful. I'm scared. <laughs> You know what? I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. Wait, is this... Oh, yep. Yeah, nope. This this has the, the Delirium Keystone, so the Delirium will not go away. Uh, that's That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I should have waited. Or not waited. I should have just, like, skipped the Delirium completely. Because this is a tier I'm not used to. I don't need the extra monsters from Delirium that badly. Got Abyss monsters too, which are scary. I don't know what has been playing this entire stream, but I really like it. Is this... Am I still on Outer Tones? No, I'm not. That's the problem. I hope this stuff is also allowed on YouTube, or I will have a problem. No, I don't see the right specifically to have this on YouTube. Uh, fuck. Okay, I have to switch to something different. Back to Outer Tones. I would love to use some of the uh, fu the fusings and jeweler's orbs I have to try to get a five link martyr of the innocents. Ow! No! 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 Oh, I knew that was a dangerous spot to be. Oh, that hurts. 
That hurts a lot. At least I did not lose that much, but I'm back at that state. At there. Eh. <laughs> I'm back at square one. Whatever, I'll finish Arcade and see what I need to do after that. At least I don't need to worry about my XP at the moment. Okay, so that's a trial. I was wondering if this was a ball side area. That's more of what I'd be looking for, seeing as that can have increased XP gain. Right, regen totem up. That hopefully will be enough. No. Die. Ow. I almost died again there. Yeah, this... Oh. Far too dangerous a map to be in. My defenses are good. I think my health needs to be higher. That would probably help. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to continue with this map a little bit longer. I just need to be careful. Sorry, Tushin. I'm busy. And I'm going to really need to find some new music to uh, play out during the streams. Because I want some more, like, copyright-free EDM stuff. Kind of like the, or, like, kind of like the synthwave stuff that we were listening to earlier. I want to get more of that. Man, I look forward to when I'll actually be able to have, like, I don't know, maybe enough of a presence online that I can actually afford to pay a particular music provider for the ability to use their stuff while streaming. That'd be nice. Because the, all the royalty-free stuff is good and all, but like I do actually want people to get paid for their work, if I if I have the money to pay them. <laughs> That's at least the ideal. Okay, what can I do that is less dangerous? <laughs> Actually, hold on. So I'm doing enough damage, that's for sure. Hmm. I think I'm, I I moved my mana mastery from here over to this one to get more increased effect of arcane surge, but that might have been a mistake. Because the points are super valuable. I have tempted to take away this. Counterweight's really powerful, but I don't I, I don't need to be powerful. I need to not die. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take off that. Do I actually even need those points if I take off my precision? Sixty-nine. Oh, that's that's a lot harder to cast stuff than I want it to be. 
Hmm. Well, I can still pick up this, and I'll still be saving a point. It'll be good. And I will immediately take a point... Could go over here. Now, I think I'd be better just grabbing some more life and energy shield there. And then... I wonder which is better, 50 raw life or 5% max life? What does Path of Building say? Uh, 50 raw life is way better. Today I learned. Hmm. What can I remove? I would love to take out precision, but that would take I would lose too much dex then I can't run my skitter bots. You know what? I'm gonna I could take out my life regen and replace it with actual life. Hmm. What would be a good plan? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try something. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay, I'm at 3,700 life right now, and 89 physical damage reduction. 89 percent physical damage reduction without a flask. I don't, I don't know why that's so high. Okay, I'm gonna take off the staff mastery that gives me additional defense. Bring me down to 86. I'm going to take out Hardy, which gives me a bunch of life regen. So I have 600 life regen, and I'm going to drop down to 353. And I'm finally going to take out Counterweight here. Oh, I need more, need more points. I want just another orb of regret. Take up that last point there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over here. I'm going to grab the entire life wheel with tireless. And I'm now at 4,150 life. <laughs> okay. Take that, monsters. Deal with that. Fucking suck on that. And we will see... How well that does. <laughs> God, I would kill for an Enlighten right now. Oh, that would be so nice to have an Enlighten gem. It would also help me a lot. It would free up three full points if I had an Enlighten gem. Uh, I'm going to check and see if any exist. I doubt it, but I'll check. Enlighten support. Nope. Yeah, I didn't think they would. Okay, well, I'm at 4,150 life. I'm pretty fucking tanky now. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably for the best. Okay. So I sacrificed 3% three physical, 3 physical damage reduction, and... 240 life regen a second for about almost 500 life. 
Okay, try fucking killing me after this. Okay. Actually, wait. Let me try to farm something I'm more familiar with. I'm gonna go for acid caverns. I like acid caverns. Oh, it'd be really nice if I had elks. That would be kind of kind of useful. And I'm such a prepared streamer. Okay, that will give me way more than enough elks for what I need. I can buy some extra maps. And I can power up maps. And I'll be good. Okay, right, gonna put some quality on these with my chisels because I mean, why the fuck not? Oh, this is a very laggy, very laggy instance. You get three home cards on the market, there's a one-third chance for one. Home cards? Interesting. Uh, okay. Oh, their, inst their hideout instance died, that's why. I wish it would stop killing off hideout instances the way that it does, and just having people get stuck in the wrong instance. Okay, home. Home. Okay, I see it. There is one home on the market. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not going to work. I assume that gives you one of the uh um one of the quote unquote exceptional gems. Oh, those are both kind of nasty maps. That's better. Found down a little bit, because I know not everyone likes metal. Ah, thanks for trying, Pyro. I appreciate it. I'll be fine without it, though, so... Uh... Oh, I'm gonna pick up Einhar for this. Then I'll have the Einhar buff. I'm out of Nikos. This Acid Caverns is going to be a pretty good map for me for this. Because my my totems have a very small range. Like they do not shoot very far and this is a very this is a very tight quarters area. That will help. It's like I can just put totems at choke points and just back off. Harry Crawl the Drooling. <laughs> that is an awful name. Some of the re the the randomly generated names are just very funny. I swear I've seen at least fifty hate stinks <laughs> and filth pits. There isn't much variety to them either. <laughs> I 
Also, I feel like most people don't have the ability to process a rare mob's name while they're fighting it. So, it's kind of a pointless system anyways. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, haunt me. Oh my gosh, possess me. You are a useless, useless creature. Oh my gosh. I hate, I hate tormented spirits. When the tormented spirit thing actually works, it's really fun. When it doesn't work, it's just frustrating. I'm not going to chase you forever. Uh, no more worthy beasts nearby. That's well, a good thing that doesn't matter. Because he is with us. Thank you. As soon as they start their animation for possessing you, you can leave, as far as I can tell. Like, I don't think... Like, I think they've already effectively possessed you by that point. You don't have to wait for their animation to finish. Frozen cabins. Okay. This is a tier 6, so I want to keep going on a little bit longer. Okay. More jeweler's orbs. So we turn into more fusings. The urge to just pick up a ton of stuff that's dropping is so strong, but it's just there's just no reason besides just the enjoyment of picking things up. Okay, that's good enough. Oh, we have a Void Div card to try out as well at some point in the stream. Throw all that stuff away. Okay, back at 9%. <laughs> oh, I was really hoping to be at 889 by now. I guess to be fair, I have earned basically enough XP to get to 89. It's just that I lost it. I think I've earned about 80% of the level now. That's okay, we'll just keep going. That was before I had over 4,000 health. And when I level up, I'm just going to get even more health. I refuse to be weak. Used to be squishy. I like to be able to wade through enemies. That's kind of my play style. So. No, bad scorpion. These leagues require a lot of planning, is what I'm learning. Because you really got to make sure that you have what you need a few days before the league ends, or you just will not be able to buy it. Because just so few people are selling things now. Yeah. What is that? Oh, Evixen's Entrapment. Good Vixen's Entrapment, too. 
Oh, you're going in there. A 12%. Maybe now that I have more help, I should start pushing to higher tiers. But I gotta make some plays if I wanna succeed at uh, getting to 90. And I do have tomorrow, but I really would like to get to 90 on stream. Ow. Do not appreciate explosion. Yeah, I got three percent from that map. I can't I can't be doing that I can't be doing this tier. Not if I want to get anywhere with any notable speed. Okay. I have some tier 9s. Start going through the tier 9s. Let's just do that. Okay, suppress spell damage. Eh. Reflect. It's fine. Don't like reduced life recovery rate or reduce max resistances. Both are bad. Okay, I think all those are good. Ooh, I can add a Searing X-Arts, too. Uh, here, I'll pick Einhar. He can help make this... He can help make me a bit stronger. can't believe, it, like, through all the maps we've done, we still have yet to get another safe house. I'm honestly shocked. Oh boy. Okay. That's this side clear. More or less. Monolith. Ah, uh, it's just one of the schism ones. Is there any other boxes? Not really. Not that I care about. Probably too late to even collect splinters, but I'm still going to. Okay, I've now gotten as much XP in the first half of this map than I did in that entire last map. I just had a crazy idea. I don't... Do I even need to be elking these maps? Like, I could potentially just run them white, which would make them the easiest possible, and that wouldn't decrease the amount of... what I, That wouldn't, in, like, make the maps worse, I don't think, for XP, except for the decreased pack size. That's the only issue. Because the main the main benefit of of alking things is that you get more stuff, and I don't need stuff. There's nothing I actually could pick up that would be so meaningful to my builds 
that it would change everything for me. And I certainly don't want to make it any more likely to get a mirror. Uh... Crab! Oh, wow, that, that regen totem disappeared quickly. Okay, got a skeleton. Just make a big distraction. Don't look at me. Oh, I didn't realize that Volsum and Skeletons also got the uh, uh, meat shield support, too. That's cool. A, l a very large amount of taunting skeletons is my favorite. Okay. Crafting recipe. Oh wait, there was a pack of monsters there. Let's kill those off first. Haunted Mansion next. I won't get the uh, the passive skill point if I don't run them. If I, I need to run them rare to get the passive skill point. Ooh, I do have a safe house ready finally. I guess the first time I do it, I should probably elk it, but... Ooh. There we go. Spirit me, baby. Ow. Ow. Stop that. I hate rogue exiles. I know they never will because the people paid money to put their characters in the game, but I really wish the Rogue Exiles would just get removed. <laughs> I mean, they never reward anything of value. And they're just more dangerous and obnoxious than the average monster. Maybe if they actually had the ability to drop something of value, it would be different, but they don't, so it isn't. Please. Thank you. Okay, I should continue on with this map, seeing as it's spirit map. Nope. Nope. Stay around the corner. Hiding. I need to remember that I don't need to be in harm's way. I can just leave my totems out there. That is their purpose. I'm playing this... I'm pushing it pretty hard. And maybe I need to push a little bit less hard. Whoa. There must be a like a bunch of anti regen on this or something, because I'm struggling to read yep, there's an there's reduced regen. That's why I'm struggling. No, fuck off. Oh, not this one again. I hate oh, I hate rogue exiles. Man, this game has a lot of old stuff that just Oh, and that ghost just disappeared anyways. No! No, no, no! No! As soon as I got there, I knew I was in trouble. I could not get out of it. 
<sighs> not not you. I already, I already done you. No. You're new. Hour and a half in, and I am I am below the XP I started the stream with. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, I definitely can't brute force this. I have to make sure that I'm doing this the right way. Or it's just going to keep getting worse. I try to back off a bit more. Okay. Where's the last monster? There you are. Just trying to wait as far away as I could from the actual monsters. Blood witches and constructs. Ugh. Constructs hurt so much. Wait a minute. I just realized something. What is my... My loot filter is still on strict. Let me move it up to very strict. So I don't see all this crap. I'll see way less stuff now. Less distractions. Man, I was not having this much trouble before the stream, but I'm starting, starting to get brick-walled. I guess usually, like, I can make money when I'm not mapping. Like, I can just play the market and stuff and take my time in normal leagues. And I can just keep buying better and better gear until I succeed. But in this, I really have to just succeed with what I have. Oh god, I have to have skill! No! I'm fucked! Okay, this map is awful to be in. I'm gonna just leave. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'm just going to ignore the pack size benefits. And I'm gonna run these maps white. with chisels on them. Do I just have one safe house ready? I assume so. Yeah, I have one. Okay. Nope, I'm good. I think I'll be fine without the reduced with the reduced pack size. This is not a very good map for wandering around in. Okay. 
take the bog. Basically, I'm just going to pick up maps at this point. <laughs> Assuming I don't ooh shiny and pick up something else. But I should basically just be picking up maps at this point. That's not a map. I guess map confusing is technically. That would technically make my build better. Maybe I should swap away from a Grant Flask, actually. Because the Grant Flask just gives me physical damage reduction, and I have a lot of that. I wonder what it, like, how much evasion I would get out of just a single Jade Flask. Okay, and dead. Oh, no, it didn't let me kill it. Ah, boss fights. This is where I shine, but unfortunately... <laughs> They jumped back in and then realized their health was too low and jumped out again for the next phase. <laughs> that was really stupid. Oh, Alex. It's useful. Maybe I should be picking Delirium up, actually. I was just thinking, because, like, I passed the Delirium thing earlier. Because, like, like, now that I don't have any quality on my maps, that would give me more monsters. And Delirium levels are mostly just making things more tanky. Okay, back up 10% XP. This is going to go, I think this is going to go a bit better now. Was that a carcass map I just did? Yes, it was. Well, I know that one is still Delirium, so I'm going to go back into it, even though I don't really like the map itself. Oh, and I jumped through it. This is a Delirium... Okay, it is a Delirium one. Good. Didn't kill these ones, surprisingly. Well, I guess I am in a tier 9 now, so things are going to be a bit tankier. Love more damage, but need the health more. Okay, this doesn't feel as bad now. Feels a bit more manageable. Oh, a 23% ice golem. That would be good if it was... Literally any other golem. <laughs> oh, I guess not, uh, not carrion. But the other golems would have helped more. Oh well. Actually, no, it wouldn't, because the quality just gives damage, and I'm not doing golem build, so it doesn't matter. Okay, no, don't want to be in the more damage field. Wait, I need to actually be killing things ahead of me instead of jumping in. That would be better. Yeah, because I don't need to be in that mess.
Okay, up to 15% now. You definitely earn XP a lot faster in the higher tiers. <laughs> that is good to see. Was starting to get a bit worried, but no, I think I'm going to be okay now. I think I'm finding a strategy that works for me. I do wish I had time to get better gear, though. But, like, I, if I stop and buy... If there's gear on the market that I can buy that is actually worth it for me, just taking the time to do it rather than leveling is just... I don't think it's worth it. You have to be very good gear for it to matter. Oh god, there is far too much delirium stuff in this area. Okay, let's clear this. What is that now? Yet another expensive div card I can't have. <laughs> no. Stop that. The hunger? Oh, it's a taste of hate. Okay, that's not too bad. That's like a 20C div card. I can... I'm fine not having that. It's not... Uh... It's not one ninetieth of a mirror. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just going to be salty about that for a little while. At least it wasn't a mirror. Very hard to have good visibility. These corners. No, use it over there. I'm good, thank you. No, no explosions. Yeah, you can stay all the way over there. I'll watch from a distance. Where I'm not dying. Oh, 20% XP now. Oh, that... That missile didn't explode when I walked over it the first time. That was weird. Well, I'd ideally like to be able to control the explosions, because then I can keep myself safe. Okay, 21%. I haven't actually done all that many maps. Okay, back to dust. Technically, I should be running the safe house. Because otherwise I'm like I'm losing out on potential intelligence if it picks the already finished safe house to give intelligence on, but conversely it could also just I could also just die and lose all the XP, so it would make more sense to wait. Okay, there's a tormented spirits area. I can get some tormented spirits to actually help me. Oh, are they all frozen? Uh, I guess so. Nope, not that. Stay out of that pile of crap. Okay, let's go back up here again. Oh, scour. And chromes. That was useful.
Oh no. I did not want to be in there for that. Okay, after... I guess after this map, I'm going to check and see if I can change my flask to something more useful. Because so I might actually do better either with a jade or with a quartz flask. Because those are just stats that I don't have any investment in yet, and they... Generally, jade flasks can be worth just picking up even if you aren't an evasion build. If you already have your main type of thing capped. Like you already have armor capped in your an armor build. Why are people delving in this league? Or, not delving, but, like, why are people, like, delving as deep as they can in this league? <laughs> I understand why you, why you delve in this league, because it's good XP. I don't understand why you'd be, like, going for depth records. Now, I guess the time limit does make it kind of fun. That makes sense. Is there still... Yeah, there's still a lot more of this map I can do. Let's not leave yet. Fortunately, there's not very many Ichor things, or very many implicits I can get on my boots that would benefit me, besides what I already have, so the Ichor and the M- wow, okay, that was just such a useless ghost. I just stood on top of him for a while until he disappeared. Oh, you know what's happening? I think it's actually not near me. But it's displaying it as near me because the game is janky. I think that actually might be a lag thing. Okay. You know, Catalyst would actually help me. Not those catalysts, necessarily, <laughs> but different catalysts. If I can get some imbued catalysts, like even like one or two imbued catalysts will give me more curse reduction, which is only good for me. Uh, where, where did that just go? Actually, you know what? Nothing in this gem tab is of value to me anymore. People can buy it if they want. Okay. Vault Tier 10 is next. But first, seeing as we're almost two hours into the stream, we are going to take a short break. Ooh, and we're 27% XP now, too. Be back in five minutes. Make sure you get water and stretch and stuff. You know the drill.
and we're back. So I did a little checking. The uh, Quartz Flask is probably going to be my best bet. Seeing as I'm sitting at 86% physical damage reduction, the 4% from the Granite Flask is not worth it. But 10%, or I guess this would be 12% with the increased effect to suppress spell damage and phasing would probably help me a lot. I've set it so that it's when I take a savage hit, which will activate the phasing and hopefully get me the fuck out of there if I'm in danger. What are we doing here? Getting near finished on a bunch of these things. Okay, I have one tiny map I can do that is... that I haven't got the point from yet. I think it's the last white map that I need to do. So I'm going to do this one quickly. This one is a rare map, but it's only a tier 4, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Oh, I, maybe I should be a little bit careful. <laughs> maybe I should worry a bit. Okay. Transportation. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. Review. Probably shouldn't have done the dude mission while I'm so close to... Uh, well, I already have a safe house up, but it gave me three encounters. So it's not that bad. It is... I am going to be wasting some intelligence, but... Whatever. I didn't want to interrogate him because then that would take up a slot, and I don't want to use, use a slot for a tier, a single rank person. That's actually, like, a really good six socket. That would be great if it was a six link. But, unfortunately, it is not. And also, it doesn't matter. Because the league is basically over. <laughs> you know, you can just... Let, just leave my totems to do that. I don't need to be in too far. I come over here and get shot by my totems. Oh, that's a lot of things. I'm just gonna wait a second and let that go. Done? Okay, that got rid of the most of the stuff that was there. I do just need to keep in mind, though, that I do not need to take risks. I can be patient and wait. It's much faster than repeating the same thing to get the same XP again. Just, just be wait and be patient the first time. <laughs> no. No chaos damage, please. I hear Riker. Hi, Riker. Yeah, that was in there. No, nope. where are you, Riker? Mr. Maloney, I'm here about your car insurance. Oh, oh, it was Guff. 
I always confuse their voices. I did that last night, too. Okay. So they're very close. Okay. I'm going to stick him in here. He will give 36 research intelligence the next time that I'm ready to go through with this. Hopefully I can get the research safe house to trigger and I can go through that before that happens, though. So that I can get all of that XP and not just 10 of the 36. Thing I was trying to do before that I kind of screwed up a little bit. Wait. There we go. Up to 30% now. Slow and steady progress, that's okay. As long as I don't die after this, I'll be okay. <laughs> You can only lose the same experience so many times before you get really disheartened. I'm doing okay right now, though. Now that I kind of have a new strategy. Okay. A bit worried about piety. Not worried about piety. <laughs> Should not have worried about piety. <laughs> okay, I am going to do the safe houses so that I can start, so I can get them out of this. I'm going to chance it on the safe houses that they're going to be worth it right now. Okay. So this came out as a tier 8, with 100% increased XP gain, as is customary for safe houses. So I'm at 32%. Let's see what I get from this. All right. Dump stuff, run away. Place totems, run away. Don't put yourself in any more danger than you have to. I have to just keep reminding myself so that I don't... Screw myself over. I think the Quartz Flask on Savage Hit is going to be really worth it. I think that's going to matter a lot. Because having phasing, if you get hit really badly and need to get out of somewhere, is a really big deal. When I died in the Haunted Mansion map, I think what happened there was I got body blocked. Or maybe I got stunned. Maybe that was it, because I was trying to dash out and I couldn't. Totems go first. Yes, my angry sticks. Destroy from me. I mean, that is what totems are. They're just angry sticks. This makes my character angry stick man. Angry stick man McBurney. Or McBurning man.
Also need to make sure I don't get shot. <laughs> That's not ideal. Okay. Yeah, stay at that choke point. Now for the easy part. Anything that deals with sealing single enemies is easy for this build, thankfully. Ten more Mastermind experience. So the next... Okay, the next uh, safe house I do will complete my... Katarina safe house, which would be good. I'll probably just waste her for the sake of getting the XP from this area before her. Okay, so I got 15% of my experience from that. Okay. So I'm 90% there. I'm going to see if I can force a research safe house now. To force a research safe house. Oh, there's another white map I haven't done. Okay, to force a research safe house, I'm going to do the fast maps. Toll. No mesas. No dunes. No barrows. Okay, so just a toll. Cemetery's fast ish. Cemetery's fast if you find the right stuff. Okay, it does not matter whether it's a white map or not, so guess what it's gonna be. Oh shoot, I should have I should have used an alpha to block that. I don't want to get June right now. Because it will it will progress the board in a way I don't want. Because believe it or not, Syndicate is actually a turn based game. One of these days I should actually do a guide explaining Syndicate, because it is needlessly complicated. It's like learning a board game. Uh, this is not... that was not amazingly fast. But it's rather nothing, I guess. I'll do the Atoll first, because I know that one's faster than Cemetery. Okay, good. Alva popped up on this one. Oh, I hate it when it teleports you backwards when you flame dash. So annoying. Okay, promenade. Oh, hi, Han. I'm glad you made it. Ooh, was that did that? I think that triggered the research surf the surf house. It triggered the surf house. Wait, where did? Who? Someone was here. Who was here? Maybe it released any research members when it... Whatever. It's annoying, but whatever. I'll just do the safe house. See what happens. 
It was Guff? Okay. I guess he returned to intervention. How are you today, Han? Well, that sucks. I'm sorry. Okay, I... Okay, there's enough happening that those all got broken. Here, I can smite these. Break them open. I hope you are less hurt soon, Han. Oops, I did not mean to rejuvenation totem there. That was a complete waste. <laughs> oh, well, I haven't really been using it. I haven't found, like... I don't know when to, this is, like, the ideal time to use it, because I often just don't need it. When I need it, I don't... I'm not react fast enough to react to use it. Oh, the first day for burns, def that's definitely the worst. I've had second degree burns before, and it definitely got better after the first day. Try to numb it as much as you can, and hopefully you'll be less hurt soon. Oh, uh, being hurt at while you're at work is the worst. I've had enough, like... In my last job, I had to open a lot of uh, boxes fairly often. And cardboard cuts were common. And working while you have that is just... just sucks. <laughs> At fifty four percent. Who levels this? There's only a tier six safe house. That's unfortunate. I need to make sure I do like one or two like high level safe or June missions before I get activate a safe house so that it adds those to the area tier. Because I think it takes the highest tier thing you've done. Mm. Yeah, you yeah, you just just die over here with you. Okay, mastermind. 
Oh, I'm gonna have a lot of... I'm gonna have far too much Mastermind experience next time. Recolor the sockets of an item 50 times using the outcome that it, of with the greatest number of less common socket colors. Okay. That's not very useful to me. I don't really need to change the colors on anything, and I don't need a tiny trial. Wait. Hold on. I don't like cultists. Chains, totems, life, glark. Yeah, that seems fine. Has to make a really, sh really good map. Ooh, I could upgrade my life flask. That would actually be really nice. It's, it's at 2080 for life. That's 2621. Oh, that's really good. That's actually going to make a big deal of difference. You're getting sound nostalgia? Not quite sure what you mean, but... I'm glad you're... happy? <laughs> Uh, okay. So the next June mission will overwhelmingly give me Katarina. It might fuck with my board a bit, but my board's kind of destroyed right now anyways. Be good if I could finish transportation, though. I gotta do a single June mission. Oh yeah, lots of decent items are dropping. Uh, I got a item worth at least 10 div earlier. And it will be deleted tomorrow. Because this entire league gets deleted. So the, I, there's no value in me picking up valuable stuff. It doesn't matter if a Mirror of Calandra drops. Actually, no, that doesn't matter. That I would be... The stream would end if a Mirror of Calandra drops. I would be so mad that to get a, a Mirror and have that get deleted tomorrow. That would be crushing. Ooh, that's a all side area. Yeah, fuck off. I'm busy. Okay. I'm gonna keep re rolling this side area till it gives me increased XP gain. And not 64% reduced. Or that would suck. No. Oh. I misclicked and went in. And now I just have a white. Corrupted. Side area. Because it corrupts itself when you go into it. Oh that hurts. Okay, Corel, you are dead. You should not have done what you did. That was a bad choice on your part. Uh, I don't really care what you're doing. Kill the boss first. But yeah, Han, I got a... Uh, I got a div card earlier that is 1 90th of a mirror. It is the mo probably the most expensive item I've ever had to drop, and it gets deleted tomorrow. Which really, really hurts. It's a div card called the Immortal. Ten of them make a House of Mirrors div card, and nine Houses of Mirrors make a Mirror of Calandra. The most expensive item in the game.
No! Oh, I got I got stunned for a second and locked in there. Ooh. Yeah, no, for some reason they want to preserve the balance of standard, which doesn't make sense seeing as it's full of uh legacy items anyways that are vastly overpowered. I guess they just didn't want to flood the standard economy with a bunch of like cluster jewels and stuff, but also why why would you care? So, whatever. I know someone was saying earlier that uh, there was a person who got a mirror in this temp league and was very unhappy due to it's the whole getting erased thing. Okay, transportation. I really hope I get some pe extra people in with this transportation. Because I could use that. No, I got too close. Oh well. Okay, I got three people. I can probably get the safe house from that. One level to Riker, one level to Guff, Ren. Ren would give me enough to level the safe house in one, but I don't have any board ticks left because this is the final encounter of the map. You know what? I can go another round. Why not? This will give me 21, which would be enough. Keep Riker in there. No, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Let me just... Just go this way. Oh! Oh my gosh! Set everyone free immediately! That's perfect! Cool, now I can do transportation and then Katarina immediately. Right after. I'm at 60% XP now. Need to keep going. See how much XP I get from this? It's... Oh, this is a tier 4. Fuck. Okay, this is probably not going to get much XP, unfortunately. One of the downsides to trying to push safe houses through using low-tier maps. Hope I get more than 5% experience from this, but I might not. Yeah, pushing the safe houses works really well early on, because it doesn't matter what level the safe house comes out at, it's going to still give you good XP, but... Later on, you really need higher tier safe houses for the 100% bonus to be enough to actually make a difference.
Oh, spell totem support's done. I have a bone. I have an extra spell totem support, actually. I could re-level this one and get myself some more totem placement speed. That'd be really nice. All right. No, don't don't want those. Don't overlap me. Okay. That's I think all the monsters. Hi, Oregon. Now I hide. Yep, no. You're done. Okay, so that will give me a whole ton of Mastermind safe, out safe House intelligence once this processes. Was the board ticks again a couple times. So one more map, which means that I should do the Katarina now. I don't think I'm actually going to fight Katarina, though, herself. That seems like a bad plan. Didn't mean to drop that. Like, I know I can kill her, but I can't guarantee that it'll be without any deaths. And that, I mean, at that point, it's not worth it then. I got 5% experience from that. Not ideal, but it's something. Okay, I'm gonna run the Katarina now. Yeah, I can do the I will do the first fight with her because that'll be really easy for me. And after this point, there will be the run up to her area, which will give a ton of XP. This is a tier 8 area, and this is 200% XP gain instead of 100%, so this will be worth it. I hope it doesn't free all the prisoners when the, uh, when the Mastermind safe house is done. Otherwise, I won't get that Mastermind XP. Which would be kind of unfortunate. And now I hide. I've noticed that, like, when the Flame Surge totems are firing, it's kind of... It kind of sounds like a train, like, chugga chugga. It's probably hard to hear. Well, oh no, not this song. Damn it! Didn't recognize it until the last second. Okay, that's a bit better. So I would have given a warning about that, but unfortunately I can't block songs from appearing. I need to find a better solution than using uh, SoundCloud, I think, for my stream music.
I'm sure there's probably something that's mixed in with Streamlabs that would be able to help with that. Or the Streamlabs website, at least. Yep, kill that. Good little sticks. Okay, I got 10% of a level from that. Oh, I'm getting there. Now I'm really nervous, because if I die at this point, I'm going to be crushed by that. You know, the fact that I didn't kill Katarina might actually mean that I can still get more safe house progress. Which would be really nice. I should use some of all of this ridiculous number of scarabs I have for something. Uh, Harbingers. Divination cards, sure. I'll take more divination cards. Oh, wait, this. I have a small. I still have a small. Uh, map device. Oh, I don't have any yellow maps. Okay, in that case, we just run a normal white map. Where are those tier 5 atolls I just put away? I'll go with these. I didn't set I didn't set June to be on this map, did I? No, I had six before. That means I did set it. Okay. Why did I move the portal like one foot? My brain at work. Here. A legion, delirium, and a breach on top of each other. Let's see how well this goes. This feels like a bad idea. And it might be because it is. What do I keep seeing? Oh, they're dinosaurs. That's what they are. Oh, Blight Scarab. Blight Scarabs. Okay, that's the Vol Smite buff. How do I not step on these? Okay. I'm a couple percent of XP. That's not bad. No, 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 no. No, not the lightning ones. Never the lightning ones. Did I not actually put June on this map? I'm so confused now. Oh god, now what is going? Now it's playing. I do I do like Halloween stuff, but I would really prefer not to play that. Try that. Yeah, there is no June on this map.
Can confirm. Okay, there's definitely a dune on this map. He's just like starting to talk to me like, if you kill me, and then I just immediately slice his head off. Yeah. Yeah, you probably should have seen that one coming. I gotta say, Katarina must be, like, really powerful if she's able to bring back creatures that not only have, like, been dismembered, but also have been dead for a while, and have their personalities remain. Emphasis on if there. I've already forgotten what I said. <laughs> Yeah, they don't seem to be very zombified, I have to say. Maybe they're not dead. Maybe they're immortals. Like, actual immortals. Like, basically having been granted immortality instead, because something being resurrected is different from something that is are just immortal. It's possible that they just regenerate themselves or something with her help. They might even not need the original body. I wonder if there's lore about that, because that actually sounds kind of cool to find out. Is there even enough monsters here to break the schism? To cause a schism? I don't think... Oh, <laughs> there wasn't. <laughs> I just got everything, so it gave it to me anyways. Took pity on me. Yeah, I'm just gonna hide here in my rejuvenation totem aura, and it's already gone. Wow! That rejuvenation totem does not last long. Oh, no. Away. Okay. Hopefully hide in the corner without issue. Okay. There's the lab. Man, I got so used to having phasing as a raider. That was... Oh, it's so nice playing raider. For that one reason. I mean, there are other reasons too, but that that's the main reason to me. Yes, thanks to my hard work. I've heard that sentence so many times. Transic. Oh, I didn't do this yet. Sure. Go with all that. I'm not going to bother the less ritual. It won't give enough XP to matter. The rewards aren't that amazing. Okay. Another safe house. 
Hopefully this one is going to be decent. Though it might not be, because it I finished it in a white map. Oh, it's a tier 5. Ah, that's not good. I'm at 80% XP, so this will probably get me 4 or 5%. It's not nothing. And it's fast. And relatively safe. By comparison to a yellow map. You stay over there. Yes, yeah, stand on my beam. For some reason, my Searing Bond keeps replacing one of my totems. Despite the fact it has plus one totem, um, max totems on it. Does the, does it not? Did I fuck that up? Oh, it does. Yet it's still replacing the totems. Don't really know what's up with that. Okay. Man, I'm getting really close to leveling, and it's so nerve-wracking. But if I level, I'll get even more health. Yeah, I don't think the Searing Bond is working the way it's supposed to. Either that or I don't understand how it works. Maybe it just means you can summon two Searing Bond totems. It, but it's it's a local thing and not related. Okay, I have five totems spawned right now. If I spawn a Searing Bond, it goes down to four. Respawn, respawn, respawn. It deletes one of them. Yeah, so it, it genuinely is working against me to have the Searing Bond totem now. Or not now, but it, it, is, it is working against me. I did not realize that. Oh, wow. That, that was really sad. <laughs> Fight, Scarab, and Expedition. God, I don't want Expedition. I don't like Expedition. <laughs> Mainly because the monsters are just that dangerous. I got 7% XP from that, actually. I just noticed. It was really good. Okay, I can use this. Hmm, there's nothing I can put on here that would help. Just trying to look at what es what essences I have and if any of them are useful. But no, I don't think so. Not for this. You know, having delirious maps is not all that useful in a league where everything is... Or a lot of maps are already delirious. 
Okay. Sure, I'll add har no, I already have harbingers. Wait, does this mean there'll be seven harbingers? I think so. That actually would be really nice. Anyways, before I forget and cause more issues for myself, Saring Bond Totem is going away now. Where? There's the Rejuvenation Totem. You can go over there. That doesn't actually matter, but whatever. Technically, I could move the smite over here, swap it with the molten shell, and then grab an inspiration support and reduce the cost of molten shell from 11 to 9 and flame dash from 21 to 18. That's useful. Okay, cool. Might as well do it. I have the open gem links, why not? Okay, 13% more XP, let's go. Okay, there's a delirium map. Oh, okay. I need to remember to stay out of harm's way. Don't need to take any risks. I'm being attacked by the portal! It's gonna hide over here for whatever reason. Don't, don't pay any attention to the woman in the corner. I mean you no harm. It's my totems that mean you harm. Which I'm totally not in control of. Totally. Ow. Nope. Stop it. Stop doing your weird delirium stuff. Nope. Leave me alone. I'm too cute to die. Again. For like the fifth time the stream. I'm too cute to die five times. You dead? You must be. No. My only complaint with Flame Surge is how damn hard it is to reach anything. Flame Surge's range is abysmal, to say the least. Yeah. Oh, that's why my my rejuvenation vol rejuvenation totem keeps disappearing because I've been replacing it with my other totems because it isn't actually counted as a separate totem. Like it isn't its its count isn't separate from the count of the rest of them. 
That's good to know, but it is frustrating. That means totem skills like Rejuvenation Totem I probably should not play, use at all. Because it takes up a totem slot, which means it takes up a fifth of my damage. Now you're here, Einhar. Ninety five percent. Please don't let me die again. So you to play this as safe as possible. Go, leave me alone. Go fight any of the other things that I have made. Cool, I'll take some more Alks. 96%. Oh, I see a ball side area. Oh, what was that? Why are these why are these creatures moving at like hyperspeed? That was very concerning for a moment. Man, Vol Smite is really dangerous to use. I have to be careful that I use it at the right time, or I will get locked into place because of the skill. Skill animation. No! God damn it! I can't... <laughs> no! I can't just go in! I need to set it, because as soon as I go in, it corrupts it. No! <laughs> the last two Vol Smite areas I've seen, I've fucked up that way. <laughs> Ugh. The definition of stupidity is doing the same thing multiple times and expecting that you'll remember to do a different thing next time. That's a joke, by the way. It's a reference to the definition of insanity, which is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Lord, nice. Might actually use that. Ooh. Oh, no, no, leave, leave, leave. Ooh, that was dangerous. At 99%, if I died there at 99%, I would be so angry. <laughs> please, please, I just need a level. I just need a level. Please just let me level. Come on. Oh my gosh, level 89. That was so much harder than it should have been. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, now I can play a bit recklessly for a moment. Alright, I don't need to be afraid of the chilling ground. I forgot because I have the. Uh... What's it called? Frimner's Resolve. Which means as long as you've used a fire, fire skill recently, you are immune to cold and frozen. Chill and freeze. Okay, this map's done. I can't believe I hit 89. That was so much harder than it, I thought it was going to be initially. 
Okay, I'm going to take another point now. But 4262 now. I'm very, very strong. I shouldn't die again. Hopefully. I'm wondering how... <laughs> we got so many six sockets! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 105 jeweler's orbs. Oh, no, I don't want, want to sell, not buy. Don't need this extra stuff. Oh my gosh! Oh! Okay, the stream's been going three hours. I'm not gonna go for 90 right now. <laughs> I am gonna try to go for 90, like, in general. But I, I'm i not going for 90 right now. I need to... Need to chill a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. That was, that was tough. Whew. Soon as I hit, like, as soon as uh, I got out of that map, like, I'm just starting to feel like a wave of exhaustion, because I've just been pushing to get to 90 so hard. I don't distress anymore because I have no XP. Yay! Okay, so I'm gonna end the stream now. Now that it's past the three-hour mark, uh, I'm. This is not. <laughs> if it takes three more hours to get to ninety, then I'm certainly not streaming for another three hours. <laughs> uh, I might stream tomorrow. We'll see. Uh. Okay, I might I might stream tomorrow. We'll see. Good luck to all of you who are currently leveling still. I hope you reach the tier you're looking for. Thank you for everyone who is here and has been here. I appreciate it, all of you. Greatly appreciate all of you. Makes streaming fun. And with this... Wait, no. No, I can't yet. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can torture myself with, like, another House of Mirrors or something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was, like, half expecting one of those to be, like, something crazy. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now I shall end the stream. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks, Pyro.